Morning, baby girl. You look nice today. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Yep, that coffee's for you. <clears throat> I know you've got a lot going on, but that doesn't mean you get to skip out on my good morning kiss. Thank you. Did you sleep okay? After you finally came to bed, I mean. Don't give me that. I woke up when you came in. At three. <sighs> Babe, it's not about you waking me up. I don't care about that. What I do care about is how late you're staying up. How many nights has this been happening? Even if it has only been a couple, that's still not good for you. I can tell you're exhausted. You're going to burn yourself out. Yes, I know you've been swamped with work, but you still need to take care of yourself. You already told me you've been working through lunch. You shouldn't even be doing that, let alone adding in late nights on top of it. You're going to make yourself sick. I swear I'm not trying to be a nag. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Yes, I know you're a big girl, but I'm allowed to fuss over you a little. Here, let's have some breakfast. You seriously don't have time to eat? I don't want you going to work hungry. Well, at least take a granola bar. And hey, promise me you'll eat lunch today. Even if it's just a sandwich. As long as you eat something. Promise? Pinky swear? Thank you. Have a good day, sweetheart. I really want to trust that she'll take care of herself. I just know how she is. She won't cut herself a break until she runs herself ragged. Maybe I'll just bring her some lunch. That way I can make sure she eats, but it won't seem like I'm breathing down her neck. Knock, knock. Hey, pretty lady. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I just thought I'd bring you lunch. No, I'm not checking in on you. Can't I just do something nice without having an ulterior motive? <laughs> You're so welcome. So how's everything going today? Wow, all of that just this morning? That's a lot, babe. No, I know, I know. It all has to get done. Here, have something to eat. Okay, I'm sorry. You just look so exhausted. Are you feeling okay? Why don't you just take a break for like 20 minutes? Okay, five minutes. Walk me back to the car? Stretch your legs, get some fresh air? Please, babe? All right, thank you. You should get outside for a minute anyway. You're looking a little pale. Whoa, sweetie. You okay? You really don't look good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Babe. Baby? Oh, God. Honey? Help. Help. I think the last time she ate was dinner time last night. She was pushing herself really hard. Hey, sweet girl. Hi, baby. No, no, don't try to move. Just keep your head in my lap. I know you're confused. You fainted, babe. Remember I brought you lunch, and then you were going to walk me outside? Yeah, you just kind of collapsed. I thought you were looking a little sick. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Don't get all worked up. It happens. It's okay. Well, yeah, everybody's just making sure you're all right. Hey, don't worry about them. Just look at me. Look up into my eyes. There you go. Focus on me. Everything is okay. You're okay. 
Someone called an ambulance. We're going to go to the hospital just to make sure everything's as it should be. I know you're embarrassed. Don't worry about everybody else. Just focus on me. We're the only two people here. Oh, thank you. Here, sweetheart. I'm going to sit you up just a little bit so you can drink some water. There we go. Sip slowly. Good job. Oh, the ambulance is here? Okay. Don't worry, babe. I'm going to ride with you. I won't leave your side. Everything's going to be fine. We'll just go to the hospital, make sure everything checks out, and then we'll go home and have a nice relaxing night. How does that sound? Okay. Just relax. I'll be right here with you the whole time. All right, sweetness. I'm going to get a few things together. You go lay down in bed. Nope. Stop. No arguing. I don't think you're exactly in a place to disagree with me right now. That's right. Thank you, dear. Okay. You all settled in? Good. Okay, first things first. I need you to drink this water. Yes, the whole glass. The doctor said you need to stay hydrated. I really don't want to have to pull a whole I told you so moment, so it might just be easier for you to just listen to me. Mm-hmm. Good. Here's your dinner that we picked up. Start slow, but eat as much as you feel hungry for. Yeah, I'm sure you are starving. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing. I'm just glad you're okay. And I'm glad I happened to be there. You really scared me today. No, I'm not trying to sit here and lecture you. You've been through enough today. I just don't want to sweep it under the rug. Because I never want to see that happen to you again. Baby, listen. I know how important work is for you. You put so much into everything you do. That's something I love so much about you. But you have to draw a line somewhere. Nothing is worth sacrificing your own health. Nothing. And anyway, how can you be completely productive if you don't eat or sleep? No offense, but zombie you won't be winning employee of the month anytime soon. Well, better late than never for you to realize it. Sometimes it just takes hitting the bottom for us to realize we need to make some changes. And hey, I'm here to help you with anything. Please don't forget that. I'll even start helping you work on a plan to balance out work and personal time a little bit better, if you would want me to. Good. We can start tomorrow. How's that? Oh, no. We'll have all day tomorrow. I already told your boss you're not going in. Believe me, they were more than understanding after what happened. Yeah, you need to rest and regain your strength. Get your mind sorted out a little bit. And I'll be right here to take care of you all day. There's no need to thank me. It's part of my job. All done eating? Okay, I'll just take this. Now lay back. Get comfy. I don't care what time it is. You need to sleep. Sleep as long as you want. I'm just going to tuck you in. All nice and snug like a burrito. Now, don't think about the time. Don't think about work. Don't think about what happened today. Just focus on the here and now. It's just you and me, and you're safe in bed, all snuggled in and ready to have the most restful sleep of your life. 
Want me to stay here with you? Of course I can do that. Just close your eyes. I'm right here. Hmm? I appreciate the apology, baby girl, but it's really not necessary. I just want you to be okay and to take care of yourself. Yeah, you're important, and you need to treat yourself that way. You deserve to eat and get enough sleep, okay? Don't forget that. And any time you feel yourself falling, I'll always be here to catch you, no matter what. Now just rest. Don't keep fighting it. I love you.